Well, let's get some more on that new variant and try and get some answers. We can speak to Professor Tulio de Oliveira, the director of the KwaZulu Natal Research and Innovation Sequencing Platform, the team which discovered the new variant in South Africa. He joins us now from Durban. Uh, Professor de Oliveira, thank you so much for being with us. Just talk us through how your team were able to identify this new variant. Okay, uh, yeah, good afternoon for all your viewers, yeah. So what we do in South Africa, we, we have invested quite heavily on genomic surveillance, what it means. It means that we have five key labs in the country that are producing data every week from all the regions of the country, yeah. So what we found is that in the end of November, beginning of December, we saw a cluster of a very unusual variant what it means, it is that was very distinct from the other ones. It had large number of changes at key protein sites. And what did this variant is that in a few weeks, it started spreading very fast and dominating most of the infections in the country. Yeah? So at the moment, uh, around 80 to 90 percent of the genomes that we produce in South Africa will be this variant, which we call 501YV2. Why we call that 501YV2? Because the second major variant that has been discovered in the world, the other one was in the UK, that has this key mutation at the 501 position that seemed to make the virus spread and transmit much faster. Some um, quite deep medical knowledge there, but the point is that this thing is way more contagious than the original strain. And what does that mean? It's uh, transmissibility I mean for the South African context that already has a healthcare system that's under massive strain. Yes, exactly. Uh, so, so at the moment, we, we have no evidence that this, this variant is more pathogenic, what it means that causes a severe disease. But we have some evidence that transmit much faster. And so our health system, our public and private hospitals are in great strain with large number of, of individuals becoming infected and present for treatment. And Professor Dolivera, this may be slightly outside your expertise, but I'm sure you can answer it. The vaccines that we so far have on the market and available to us, will they be effective against these new strains? Okay, so we, we have reason to current believe that the vaccines will be effective against these two variants, but that's something that is being studied in great detail, both here and in the United Kingdom. So, so one of the very big objectives, and we have made a very large number, a consortium of national and international scientists to answer that question as soon as possible. All right, Professor Tulio de Oliveira, the director of the KwaZulu Natal Research and Innovation Sequencing Platform in Durban. Thank you so much for that, and I wish you luck in your work.